all of you come come and thank this woman so much for me <laughs> She's been, she's been my pillar of strength. I mean, but for her, this marriage would have broken down long ago. She's tolerated me. Men were so troublesome. You know, she's done very well. And then she was quiet for a while. And then she looked at me and said, Did they put something in your tea this morning? <laughs> so thank you all very much. And God bless all of you. Go ahead, put the ring on her finger, and with this ring, you renew your pledge of marriage to Lordina. It is a sign of your vow to love, honor, and cherish her for as long as you both shall live. Amen. Let's go. It fits beautifully. Wow. Hello, thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell, like and comment. Thank you very much. I'm going to ask that His Excellency John Dramani Mahama and Her Excellency Lordina Dramana Mahama please join me here at the front to renew your marriage vows. And would you all please stand as they come. Marriage was created by God as a lifelong union of love and devotion between a man and a woman for as long as they both shall live. We're gathered here together in the sight of God to celebrate and reaffirm the marital union of former President John Dramani Mahama and former First Lady Lordina Dramani Mahama. Let's pray. Father, we are so thankful, Lord, for this couple that is standing here before us. We're thankful, Lord, for your grace and your blessing on their lives. And that, Lord, you have sustained them these 30 years. We pray, Lord, that as we move into the renewal of vows and the recitation of pledges, that, Lord, you will bless them and that you will hear them and that you will again add your grace and your strength to this marriage which you have created in Jesus name. Amen. 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 You may be seated. His Excellency John Dramani Mahama and Her Excellency Lordina Dramani Mahama were joined together in marriage 30 years ago. On that day, they pledged their love to one another. They exchanged vows before God and gave each other rings as symbols of their lifelong devotion. In the years since, they have produced five children and grandchildren. And today, 30 years later, they may look a little different, but their marriage is stronger than ever. And that is what makes this, this event significant. The vows that they are renewing have been tried and tested over 30 years. They've seen the storms, the pressures, the pains, and even the disappointments of life. But here they are, having held fast to their vows to say to each other, if I had the choice to do it all over again, I would still choose you. Amen. Amen. President Mahama, 30 years ago, you pledged your faithfulness to your wife to live together after God's ordinance of marriage. You promised to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health.
and that forsaking all others you would keep yourself only unto her now again 30 years later do you still pledge your devotion to Lordina Dramani Mahama as long as you both shall live I still do and first lady Lordina 30 years ago you pledged your loyalty to your husband to live together after God's ordinance of marriage you promised to respect him love him honor and keep him in sickness and in health and that forsaking all others you would keep yourself only unto him now again 30 years later do you still pledge your devotion to John Dramani Mahama as long as you both shall live yes I still do amen I'm going to ask you to join hands. President Muhammad, do you still take Lordina Dramani Muhammad as your wedded wife to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health? to love and to cherish till death do you part I still do Lordina Dramani Mahama do you still take John Dramani Mahama as your wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better or for worse for richer or for poorer in sickness and in health to love and to cherish till death do you part Yes, I so do. Amen. Now, when their excellencies were first married, they exchanged rings as tokens of their marital pledge. The ring, an endless circle, is a symbol of the lifelong commitment that began 30 years ago and continues between this husband and wife for as long as they both shall live. If you could remove your wife's ring. And you would place it on her finger. And as you do, let's declare that with this ring, you renew your pledge of marriage to Lordina. You can just put it on her and, and I'll, I'll recite this. Go ahead, put the ring on her finger and with this ring you renew your pledge of marriage to Lordina it is a sign of your vow to love honor and cherish her for as long as you both shall live amen that's good it fits beautifully wow Now, Lordina, Your Excellency, please take your husband's ring and you may place it on his finger. And as you do, I will declare that with this ring, you renew your pledge of marriage to John. It is a sign of your vow to love, honor, and cherish him for as long as you both shall live. And it fits wonderfully. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Amen. I'm going to ask our host pastor to come, Reverend Ernest Ajay. We'll come, please, and will lead us in a prayer of blessing. I'm also going to ask if the family members would come and stand by your parents to receive this blessing in prayer.
Shall we please be up and stand then? And shall we pray? So our Father, we are grateful and thankful unto you for a day like this. Thank you for preservation. Thank you for good health. Thank you for love. Thank you, Lord, for everything. We stand today, Lord, celebrating your goodness, your mercies that you have shown to this family 30 years ago. We pray that the years ahead will be fruitful, will be meaningful, full of good health, long life, and the blessings of the Lord. Make them, O oh God, a shining example to generations yet unborn. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. We we'll pray for your peace and your blessings upon their lives in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit who we'll with this family. Amen. 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 And we add, Lord, to that prayer that there would be a blessing on their children and their, their children's children to the third and fourth generation and beyond. That, Lord, this would be a household of legacy. That, Lord, you will continue to pour out your grace and your goodness, Lord. That through the testimony of the Dramani Mahama household, your name would be glorified for years and years years to come, not only in Ghana, but throughout West Africa and the world. For Lord, we give you the glory and the honor and the praise in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a mighty hand clap of praise. Amen. Now the family, you, you may be seated, and the family has requested that we would take a moment of communion for the family. So we'll ask that the elements would come. Father, we pray Hello. your blessing over these elements of communion. We recognize that, Lord, this is a remembrance that you have called us to observe. We pray, God, that you will bless this time as the Mah Dr Dramani Mahama family honors you by receiving these elements in Jesus' name. You can go ahead. Go ahead and remove the bread from the container. Take the bread into your hand for I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance 
of me. You may partake of the element. And now prepare for the juice. the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. You may drink. And so, Father, in this act of communion, where we acknowledge that it is only through the body and the blood of our Savior Jesus Christ that we have your grace to sustain us. And we again pray, Lord God, that you will provide this family with the grace that they need in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Your Excellency John Dramani Mahama, your Excellency Lord Dina Dramani Mahama, for as much as you have consented together in the renewal of vows and have witnessed it before God and this company and have again pledged your love and devotion to one another, I hereby affirm that this marriage is renewed in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you and keep you May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace. President Mahama, you may kiss your bride again. Amen. Before I conclude my duties, I would be remiss if I didn't present you with a special gift from my wife and me. My wife sends her love. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to travel with me now. But we wanted to give you a very special gift that celebrates 30 years of marriage in our country. It is a tradition that pearls be presented on year 30. So in this, you will find a gift, especially from my wife to you that consists of pearls, and you'll also find a special gift from me to you as well. It will be a very special watch that you will be able to tell time for the next 30 years so that at year 60 we can gather again to celebrate the renewal of vows. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes. God bless you. God bless you. I think we can do better in our clapping. Congratulations to His Excellency, former President John Dramani Mahama, and Her Excellency, Mrs. Lord Dina Mahama, for this great thing that has taken place that is renewing of your vows to each other. We would now have a spot of music from PC Esther, and we would use that same song ministration to do a love of a tree so we would be directed accordingly by the ushers and we will come from the back to the front as directed to drop our love of a tree <laughs> Let's welcome the team with a hand clap. It's a very weak one.
If we want them to sing, let's welcome them with a better hand clap as we prepare to give our offertory. Oh, 
Thank you very much. I'd like to thank all our friends and loved ones for the honor you've done us today in joining us to celebrate this auspicious occasion. I'd like to particularly thank Pastor Greg for the very powerful sermon. I'm sure that for all of us who are couples in this church, listening to you, we've taken a word or two that will help strengthen our marriages. And for those who haven't achieved 30 years of marriage, I'm sure Pastor Greg's sermon will encourage you to keep on and, and achieve 30 years. So I wish all of you that um, a day will come when you summon all of us to come and celebrate 30 years of uh, being married. I'd like to thank all our senior clergymen um, who are here today. Um, I have very close relations with almost all of you here. And um, I said to Pastor Basie when he came to uh, congratulate her that, I mean, uh, that's, that's it, it's sealed. He's my rival, and uh, we've, been, we've been quarreling over her. After 30 years of marriage, you are finished. <laughs> I'd like to thank the representative of uh, Pastor Duncan, uh, Reverend Duncan Williams for joining us and all of you uh, clergymen who are here. I'd like to thank Don Mahini who has been a friend of the family for so many years for finding time to join us. Our friends uh, from South Africa, Lordinas, very good friend. Um, both of them were first ladies together, Mrs. Zuma, and they struck a very good relationship and she's come all the way from South Africa to come and honor Lodina on this 30th anniversary. I'd like to thank a special friend, um, Mr. Tahir. Uh, he's come all the way from UK. Um, he should have been here with his family, but there's a wedding. And he had to choose between the wedding and coming for our 30th anniversary. So he asked his wife and children to go to the wedding and said he is coming to Accra to join us for our 30th anniversary. I want to thank my family that have been my bulwark and support in all these years uh, of both my career and my marriage. I want to thank Lordina's uh, family too. Um, despite the fact that two people marry, you have families behind the two people. And the families are the support systems that help the marriage to hold. And so today, the compliments go not only to the two of us in working things out, and being able to keep at it for 30 years, but also to the families that are behind us who continue to support us. Um, there are people who might not be the same blood as you, but they are as much family as your own family of flesh and blood. And there are many friends like that. I will not dare to mention them because if I mention some and don't mention some, I'll be in trouble. But they know themselves. <laughs> and so I want to thank all of them. And also to thank my uh, party. Um, many of them are here. Sylvester, Auntie Sherry, Auntie Molly, uh, our chairman, uh, for example, for Totobi, my in law, Akonta, Hudu Yaya, and so many, so many. Uh, Mr. Kwam Nahoy, and all of them. Uh, Joyce Bauer, my aide. And uh, I, I don't know who else, <laughs> how else to 
thank everybody. Uh, but also to thank um, those who have worked at organizing this. Obobia, um, Opoku Daku, and uh, my special aid, Stan Dogbe, and uh, the many other Weasel TV crew and others who have made this a success. I'll just leave you with two things. You saw in the picture that was presented, the plaque, the, 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 the frame, um, the one with two of us in the picture, it had um, us in two t-shirts, and if you read it, hair said the better half, and mine said the other half. <laughs> and so, like Pastor Greg said, we are the other half, and these are the better half. And so, we must work to become as good as them. And so, it's work in progress. You will never achieve it before you die, but you have to keep trying. <laughs> And I'll leave you with a story. I'm, I'm sure I've told it to several of you already, but um, it's funny. 25 years ago, eight, five years ago, on our 25th anniversary, we did a Thanksgiving in the same church. And in the run-up to the Thanksgiving, we had gone to our pastor's office and were sitting, sitting with several of our friends. And she talked about, you know, 25 years of marriage and how she's done so well you know, to keep this marriage. The marriage is alive because of her and all that. <laughs> I was a bit younger and foolish at the time. And so, Pastor Greg, I went into an argument with her about who has kept the marriage alive. And I said, it's rather me. I'm the more humble one, the more patient. And we had an argument, you know. And so when we finished, then we were leaving our pastor's house. Uh, Kweje, who's my spiritual mentor, called me back and said, why do you argue with her? You can never win that argument. So, <laughs> so just don't try. And so I, I, I said, okay. Fast forward. Five years later, 30th anniversary. And it's like deja vu. We're in the same office with almost the same people there. In preparation to this 30th anniversary. And the same thing she said about how the marriage has survived because of her and you know <laughs> men you are a handful you know to manage and i've done well to manage this man and then what my pastor said kicked in i remember he said you never win this argument so i called all of them i said oh pastor ben pastor kweji all of you come come and thank this woman so much for me <laughs> She's been, she's been my pillar of strength. I mean, but for her, this marriage would have broken down long ago. She's tolerated me. Men, we are so troublesome. You know, she's done very well. And then she was quiet for a while. And then she looked at me and said, did they put something in your tea this morning? <laughs> so thank you all very much. And God bless all of you.